was hard to not go for self-rescue and just wrap down. World-renowned rock climber Hans Florin is out of the hospital and headed home after a fall off of Yosemite's El Capitan. Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos spoke with him moments after he was discharged and shares more on his death defy experience. Vanessa. Yeah, Corey, it was a little more than five hours till Hans Florin got any kind of medical attention, but he stayed positive throughout, even posting to his Instagram page while awaiting search and rescue teams. I'm pretty sure I've broken one or both of my legs. This cell phone video taken at 2,000 feet shows climber Hans Florin moments after falling from the summit that made him world famous. It was 1.30 Thursday afternoon that he and fellow climber Abe were two-thirds up the nose trail of El Capitan when the screw holding a steel cable came loose. About a 21-foot fall, uh, hit a ledge before my rope went tight, um, and my heels hit the ledge first and uh, broke my ankle on my left side and smashed my right heel, and then I fell another four feet, just kind of on a soft bungee catch. That's where Florine made the 911 call. Shortly after, Abe helped him rappel 200 feet to a ledge where they could rest. It took more than five hours for search and rescue crews to reach him. This would have been his 110th ascent up the nose trail. I'm 178th of all the routes on El Cap, um, and I'm kind of pleased like I've only had one rescue. Still awaiting at least two more surgeries on his legs, Lorraine hopes to be back on his feet within the year. When I was hanging upside down and felt the instant pain in my heels, it took one look to see the curvature of my tib bib to realize, like, this is this climbing day's over. Now, it may have ended the day, but not his career. Florine tells me nothing is going to stop him. Here what's keeping him going tonight on Action News Live at 11. Live in studio, Vanessa Vasconcelos, ABC 30, Action News. Thank